Welcome back to the Great Garment Graphics Learn More, Do More, Sell More series. This session is creating a cut contour cut line on a JPEG image for the VersaCam. The biggest difficulty people seem to have is creating a cut line around an image, especially an image that is not vector art. So in this session we will show you one way to create the cut line for the VersaCam. And in this session, the tools we'll be using Corel Draw X3, Roland VersaWorks, Roland VersaCam, Hotronics Heat Press, and Solutions Media. Now let's go over to the software. Now we are in the software program, and for this session, we're going to use Corel Draw X3. The fish on the screen is a JPEG file. We will see that by going to View, click on Wireframe, and you will see the image grayed out with a box around the design indicating that this is not vector art. We'll go back to View and click on Normal. The first thing we want to do is make a duplicate of the image. We can select the image by clicking on it, or in this case we will go to Edit, Go to Select All and click on Objects. Now we'll go back to Edit, select Copy, and we are going to make another page. We can do this by going to Layout and Insert Page. In this case we will go to the bottom of the page and click on the plus sign. Now we have page two. I'm going to go back up to edit and select paste. This will give us an exact duplicate of our design on page one. Be sure not to move the design so when we copy and paste the cut line it will register perfectly to the design on page one. Now we can go up to bitmap in the upper standard toolbar and go to mode and select black and white one bit. And we need to grab the image on the left and drag it down until we can see the outline of the image. That way we can see if we're getting a good clean cut line. Under conversion mode method here we're going to select line art. With the options threshold, we're going to hold down the left mouse button and drag it to darken the image. In this case, 235 should be good. Click OK. And now we're going to have to trace this. So go back up to bitmap in the upper toolbar and go to trace bitmap and select line art. And after this loads here, we're going to, have to eliminate some of the detail on the right hand side. So in this case, on the detail bar, just grab it and move it about three clicks to the left. And that seemed to clean up pretty good here. Also notice in our power trace under options that the remove background has been highlighted. Say OK. And this is our vector art image. But behind the image, we still have the JPEG image that we need to delete. So go to Arrange, go to Order, and select to back a page. Click off of the design. Now click on the, the image, and this is our JPEG image. When you click on here, this use your delete key on your computer and delete that image. 
And all we have left is the vector art image. And we can see this by going back up to view, click on wireframe, and we see a nice clean outline. Go back to view, select normal. And now we need to, to create the actual cut contour cut line. So we'll click on the design and go to our outline tool in the, in the lower or the left hand corner. And we'll select the outline pen. And we'll move it over here so you can see. <clears throat> Under width, we're going to select hairline. Now we're going to go up to color. And under palettes, this is our cut contour color. If you have not created a cut contour color before, be sure to check out our other session on creating a cut contour color. Say OK. Say OK again. Now we have our cut line, but we need to delete the fill color. To do this, we're going to go to our fill tool on our toolbar on the left. And the X here, we are going to select the X to eliminate the fill. Now we need to copy and paste the cut line to the image. Go back to edit. I'm going to copy. Select page one. Go back to edit and paste. To view our finished design, we can go to view and select wireframe. Now you see the JPEG image with the nice clean cut line around the design. <clears throat> go back up to view, select normal. Now we're ready to export the design. We'll go to file. and select export. Under file name, you give it a name fish. And under save as type, make sure you do select EPS. We'll say export. And we're going to save this as a 300 DPI. And under objects, we're going to send it as a CMYK, because that's what we're going to be printing with. We'll say OK. And we have exported our design. Now we need to open up the role in VersaWorks. And we'll go up to File and add to job A is the same as importing. Type in our file name, which is fish. Say open. And there is our design. Now what we, we want to double click on the design itself. And this opens up all the job settings. Under orientation, you're going to turn it right side up. And if you notice, the moving dotted line going around the image indicates that there is that is the cut line. And we are ready to send it over to the VersaCam. This concludes our session on creating a cut line around a JPEG image. But be sure to check out our other sessions. And check with us also that we continuously add new sessions. Thank you.